Attorneys for protesters want to make sure this never happens again. What you see in this video, last month in Uptown Charlotte, protesters said they were cornered, flanked by officers on both sides, and then tear gas and flashbangs were used on them. It is a controversial move known as kettling, a kettling tactic. Well, a judge placed a temporary restraining order on CMPD using chemical agents following that video. But protesters think more should be done here. Our Mark Becker was in the courtroom today as attorneys on both sides argued their cases. Mark. Yeah, essentially attorneys for the civil rights groups wanted to have that restraining order extended for what could amount to years. <laughs> <laughs> the lawsuit comes after protesters say police cornered them in Uptown Charlotte last month and then hit them with tear gas during what demonstrators said was a nonviolent march. As we now well know, we're here about uh, to protect the constitutional rights of the plaintiffs. This afternoon, attorneys for several civil rights groups asked a judge to extend a restraining order to keep police from using chemical agents against peaceful protesters until their lawsuit is decided. The protesters are still being very, very peaceful, but the, but the police uh, are holding us. To make their case, they played video from the protests and recordings of police radio calls before and during the confrontation. That is inhumane. The abject terror that we saw was unreal. Somebody thought this was okay. Somebody green-lighted this in advance and somebody's still saying, we got to defend this. This is okay. And that's why we're here. They don't get it. They haven't learned that this is way over the line. CMPD's attorney, though, took issue with that. Jessica Battle said protesters had, in fact, lobbed various objects at officers who were on the defensive, but still trying to identify and arrest only those responsible. See, he tried to pick one person out. He tried that. He was tried an alternative measure. It did not work. And that hearing just wrapped up a little while ago. The judge, Judge George Bell, had several hours worth of testimony to absorb. He said he'll take it under advisement and may issue a ruling in a couple of weeks. In the meantime, that temporary restraining order, Erica, still in place. A lot of people awaiting that decision. Mark, thank you.